He's a journalist and explorer famous around the world. But while his story has taken him from America to the Congo, it's in Brussels where Tintin and a regular cast of characters first came to life as the creation of Georges Remy, who worked under the pen name Hergé. He was first drawn in 1929 for a Belgian newspaper, but Hergé went on to create 24 books detailing the adventures of Tintin, set during the 20th century. They became among the most popular European comics ever made. Van After at the Hergé Museum says the character remains popular around the world, but still retains his Belgian roots. Everybody can find a part of himself in the work of Hergé. I think this is why the, the world of Hergé is so important. You, be, you live in England, you live in Japan, in China or in America. Everybody can find something. A little bridge for the nose, one point for the eye, and everybody can be Tintin. With something, always something from Belgium also, because Hergé was a Belgian artist. Thompson and Thompson, Captain Haddock, Calculus. Snowy and Tintin, naturally. He gave all his life for Tintin because uh, Hergé didn't have a son and then he gave all his life for the character of Tintin. Hergé's comics about the intrepid explorer and his faithful dog can now sell for millions of euros. But despite his fame and popularity around the globe, it's here in Brussels where the character of Tintin was formed and where Hergé's creation lives on. Jenny Longdon, CGTN, Brussels.